So we have to explain these are the questions which are being asked. Maybe the language may be different, but the content remains the same. First is social changes in Britain, which led to an increase in women readers. First, we'll see that. So the most exciting uh, element of the novels of the 18th century and then, uh, then the 19th century was the involvement of women. That is, the 18th century saw the middle class women more prosperous and women got more leisure. That is, they got time, avkash, to read as well as to write novels. And novels begin exploring the world of women, their emotions and the identities, their experiences and problems. Many novels, as uh, we are answering the same thing, is many novels were about the domestic life, where the women can relate. That is how the uh, a simple family life is there, a theme about which women are allowed to speak with authority. So they drew upon from their experiences and they wrote about the family life, that is the domestic life, and earned public recognition. If we talk about the name of the novels, the novels of Jane Austen, this gives us, this novel gives us glimpse of the world of women in genteel rural area in early 19th century Britain. They make us think about the society which encouraged women to look for good marriages and find wealthy and prosperous or propertied husbands. So the first sentence of Jane Austen's creation, that is her novel, Pride and the Prejudice, it states that it is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in position of good fortune or having money must be in a want of a wife, that is, he might be looking for a wife. Now the next one is, what actions of Robinson Crusoe make us see him as a uh, typical colonizer, typical colonizer, or Daniel Defoe's Robinson Crusoe made the readers feel that they were part of a superior community. Support the statement. So let us see this. The hero of Daniel Defoe's, because Daniel Defoe, Defoe, he wrote a novel called Robinson Crusoe of 1719. So he is the hero, is the adventurer. And he is also a slave trader. And shipwrecked on an island, Crusoe treated the colored people, that is the native people, not as human beings equal to him, but as some something or some people who are inferior creatures. So he rescues a native and makes him his slave. But he doesn't ask his name, but arrogantly gives him the name just by chance as Friday. But at times, Crusoe's behavior was not seen as unacceptable or odd at that time. For most viewers, they saw this colonialism as natural because it was being fed to them that this is the natural process. So colonized people were seen a primi as primitive and barbaric, less than human, and colonial rule was considered necessary to civilize these people, civilize the natives or those who are not Europeans and make them fully human. Next is, uh, after 1740, the readership of novels began to include poorer people. What does this mean and how do we answer this? See, the readership of novel began to include proper people after 1740 or the readership increased. The reasons are, the circulation of novels increased with the introduction of circulating, the, circulating libraries, pustakale, and technological improvements in printing. Starting, it was woodblock. Then it became uh, the you know you do, you know the famous name of Johann Gutenberg. He created one machine. Then after that, the cylindrical. Uh, then then comes the offset printing. So all these technological improvements in printing brought down the price of books and innovations in marketing. This led to expanded or more sales. In France, publisher found that they could make more profits by hiring out novels by the hour. So the novel was one of the first mass produced item to be sold at that time. Then the worlds, uh, the worlds uh, created or the, the uh, area or regime that is created by the novels 
they were very absorbing people were absorbing it and believable they were actually believing it and they were seemingly real they are thinking that this world is real so nouns allowed individual the pleasure of reading in private in solitariness in individualistic manner as well as the joy of public reading or discussing stories with friends or relatives in rural areas people would collect to hear one of them reading a novel aloud means someone is reading and the others are just listening but they are into that novel often becoming deeply involved in the lives of the characters of that novel next is novelist in colonial india wrote for a political cause how does the novel pariksha guru reflect the inner and outer world of the newly emerging middle classes so this pariksha guru reflects the inner and outer world of the newly emerging middle classes the characters in the novel they are caught in the difficulty or they are in between of adapting the colonized society and at the same time preserving their culture traditions also so premchand seva sadan deals mainly with the poor conditions of women in society and the issues like child marriage and the dowry was woven into the story of the novel it also tells us about the ways in which the indian upper classes use whatever little opportunities they got from colonial authorities to govern themselves pothari kunjambu a lower caste writer from the from north kerala wrote a novel called saraswati vijayam in 1892 mounting a strong attack on caste or caste operation from the 1920s in bengal also a new kind of novel emerged that depicted the life of peasants and low castes advaita malla barmans his uh, novel titash ekti nadir naam this is an epic about the mallas a community of fisher folk who lives of fishing in the river titash so in bengal only many historical novels were also uh, about the marathas and rajputs so these novels produce a sense of pan india indian belonging that is all over india it was it amalgamated or you can say confined it so everyone was reading it bankim chandra chatopadhyay's anand math in 1882 is a novel about a secret hindu militia that fights muslim to establish a hindu kingdom so it was a novel that inspired many kinds of freedom fighters when we come to premchand premchand novels for instance are filled with all kinds of powerful characters drawn from all levels of the society so it contains aristocrats landlords middle level peasants and landless laborers middle class professionals and people from all the margins of the society outline the changes in technology and society which led to an increase in the readers of the novel in the 18th century europe so the invention of this print in the 18th century it actually led to the popularity of the novels because now it became quite easy to print novels in large numbers previously they were handwritten like manuscript so it cannot be multiplied or it cannot be distributed to everyone only the elite or aristocrat can afford it so in ancient times this manuscripts was handwritten and hence their availability was quite limited the novels dealt with many social issues like love marriage proper conduct of men and women and so on so common people were attracted towards them novels appeal to all sections of the society both middle class people like the shopkeepers and the clerks as well as the big people like aristocratic and gentlemanly classes so novels not only attack the ills of the society but also suggested the remedies of what will be the remedies of these ills so they were much liked by one and all the novels became a very popular medium of entertainment also among the middle class and women readers and most of the novelists use the vernacular that is the local language that is spoken by the common people write a note on the odia novel high odia novel so the odia novel in 1877 78 ramashankar ray a dramatist he began serializing the first odia novel sodamani serial means one will come one part of the content will come then other will come and it will leave in some secrecy or suspense will be there so that the the readers will wait for the next to come and likewise 
various serials in a in a form of serials it will come but he could not complete it within 30 years however odisha produced a major novelist in fakir mohan senapati so the title of his novel fakir mohan senapati cha maria atha gunta it it was in 1902 it portrays six acre and 32 decimals of land so it announces a new kind of novel that will deal with the question of land and its position so it is the story of ramachandra Mang- mangaraj a landlord's manager who cheats his idol and drunken master and then eyes the plot of fertile land owned by bagia and sharia a childless viewer couple so mangaraj fools this couple and put them into his credit so that he can take over their land the path breaking work showed that the novel could make rural issues an important part of the urban also right urban area uh, urban uh, the preoccupations you can say so in writing this the fakir mohan anticipated the host of writers in bengal and elsewhere now jane austen's portrayal of women we'll talk about this now so jane austen was an english novelist who gives us the glimpse or the idea of the women of or uh, world of women in the general rural society in the early 19th century her novel makes us think about the society which encourage women to look for good marriages and find wealthy men or or pro- propertyed humans the first sentence of jane austen's uh, pride and prejudice which was jane austen you know lived from 1775 to 1817 so the first sentence itself says that it is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune that is a man who is having money must be in a want of a wife so this observation allow us to see the behavior of the protagonist protagonist means the hero and the heroine who are preoccupied with marriage and money as typifying austen's society the picture of new middle class which the novel pariksha guru portrays so pariksha guru reflects the inner and outer world of newly emerging middle classes we have already seen this question but we are going to do it again so the characters of the novel are caught in a difficulty of adapting the recent or the at that time colonized society and at the t- same time they were worried or about the preservation of their own cultural identity so the world of co- the colonial modernity seems to be you know both frightening from them and also tempting that is irresistible for the characters so the novel clearly intends to teach the reader the right way to live and expects all the sensible men to be worldly wise and practical to remain rooted in the values of their own traditions and culture and to live with dignity and honor so in the novel we see the characters attempting to bridge two different worlds through their actions they take the new agriculture technology modernizing trading practices changing the use of uh, indian language making them capable to transmit both western sciences and indian wisdom so the young are urged to cultivate the healthy habit of reading the newspaper but the novel also emphasizes that all this must be achieved through or without without sacrificing the traditional values of the middle class household so with all these good intentions pariksha guru could not win many readers why because it was perhaps too moralizing in its style it was giving a lot of updesh discuss some of the social changes in the 19th century britain which thomas hardy and charles dickens wrote about so charles dickens was the foremost english novelist of the victorian era victorian era means the queen victoria when she was the emperor of uk so he wrote about the terrible effects of industrialization on people's lives and character his novel hard times and oliver twist became world famous one is hard times one is oliver twist so this hard time his novel hard time in 1854 he wrote it describes coke town it's a fictitious industrial town as a grim place full of machinery smoking chimneys rivers polluted purple and building that all look the same so here workers are known as hands only like hands they're called as hands as if they had no identity other than just operators of the machine dickens criticized not just the greed of profits but also the ideas that reduce human beings into simple instruments of production when it comes to 
Charles Dickens creation Oliver Twist. In other novels also this like this Chicken uh, Dickens focus on the terrible conditions of the urban life or urban world under industrial capitalism. His Oliver Twist in 1838 is the tale of poor orphan. He was a kid at that time means he started with the kid uh, portraying. So poor orphan who lived in a world of petty came criminals and beggars. Brought up in cruel workhouse, Oliver was finally adopted by a wealthy man and lived happily ever after. Summarizing the concern in both 19th century Europe and India about women reading novels, what does this suggest about how women were viewed? So when women begin writing and reading novels, many people fear that they would now neglect the traditional role as housewives or wives and mothers and home would be in disorder. So it is not so surprising that many men were suspicious of women writing novels and reading, reading them also. So this suspicion cut across communities. Hannah Millens, a Christian missionary and the author of Karuna O. Full Monir Bibran, 1852, repeatedly or the, this is the first novel in Bengali, tells her readers that she wrote in secret because people were suspicious about her writing. In the 20th century, Shailabala Ghosh Jaya, a popular novelist, could only write because her husband protected her. And as we have seen in the case of the South, women and girls, they were often discouraged from reading the novels. In what ways was the novel in colonial India useful for both the colonizers as well as the nationalists? There are certain, you know, points you can make. Uh, like first is this was the source of information, the novels and colonialism, and then the novel and the nation making. So the first point is source of information. So colonial administrators found this vernacular novels or the Desi novels a, a valuable source of information on native lives and customs. So these information are quite useful for them to govern the Indian society with its large and variety of communities and castes. As outsider, these British knew little about the life inside Indian households. So the novel in Indian languages, it, it gives often the descriptions of the inside, that is the domestic life of the Indian uh, habitat or Indian people. When it comes to novels and colonialism, the novel originated in Europe at a time when it was colonizing the rest of the world. So the early novel, it contributed to colonial, colonialism by marking the readers feel that they were part of a superior community to fellow colonialists. Then the novel and nation making, the history written by colonial historians, it just tended or it is influenced to depict Indians as weak. Indians are divided. Indians are totally dependent on British. So these histories could not satisfy the taste of Indian or new Indian administrators and those who are intellectuals. They don't buy this, uh, this idea. So nor did the traditional Puranic or Puranic stories of the past, uh, people by gods and demons filled with fantastic and supernatural scene convincing to those educated and working under the English system. So these minds, these intellectual minds uh, wanted a new view of the past to that would show that Indians could be independent minded and they had been so in the history as well. So the novel provided a solution. In it, the nation could be imagined in a past that also featured historical character, places, events, dates. The novel and struggle for freedom, the imagination or the imagine or the, the you can say that the nation which was being formed in the novel was so powerful that it could inspire actual political movements. Bankim Chandra Chotopadhyay's Anand Mat, which he wrote in 1882, is a novel that about, it was about a secret Hindu militia that fights Muslim to establish Hindu kingdom. So it was a novel that inspired many kings of, or you can say freedom fighters. Then it comes to novels and common sharing novelists included. So various class in the novel in such a way everything everyone was uh, included that they could be seen to belong a shared world. Premchand novels specifically are filled with all kinds of powerful characters drawn from all levels of society, all uh, hierarchy of the society. So in this novels, they you can meet the aristocrats, landlords, middle level peasants, 
landless laborers, middle class uh, professionals, and people from the margins of society. So the women characters are strong individuals, especially those who come from the lower classes and are not modernized. Discuss how or describe how the issues of caste was included in novels in India. By referring to any two novels, discuss the ways in which they tried to make readers think about their existing social issues. So novels like the Indirabai and Indu Lekha, they were written by the members of the upper caste, people who are, being, who are on the top of the ladder of the caste system and were primarily about the upper caste characters. But all novels were not of this kind. Potheri Kunjabu, a lower caste writer from the North Kerala, wrote a novel about Saraswati Vijayam. It was called as Saraswati Vijayam in 1892, mounting a strong blow on caste operation. So this novel shows a young man from an untouchable Achut caste leaving his village to escape the cruelty of the Brahmin landlord. He converted himself now to Christianity, obtained modern education and returned to the as a judge in the local court. So Saraswati Vijayam stressed the importance of education for the upliftment of the lower caste. From the 1920s, the Bengal too and in Bengal also, a new kind of novel emerged that depicted the lives of peasants and low castes. Advaita Malla, uh, this uh, Burmanis, Burmans, actually, he's Burmans. Titash Ekti Nadirna. It's an epic about the Mallas, a community of fisher folk who lived off fishing in the river, Titash. While novelists before Advaita Malla had featured low castes as their main character, Titash is a special because. The person who is writing, that is the author himself, is from the lower caste. The central character of Munshi Premchand novel Rangabhumi, Surdas, that is a person who can't see, a visually impaired beggar from a social untouchable caste. Describes the way in which the novels in India attempted to create a sense of pan Indian belonging. So, first is the Novels created a sense of equality and also novels were there to protect Indian tradition and culture and there were women novelists. So how did they create a sense of equality? Colonial rulers regarded the contemporary culture of India as inferior, not uh, up to the mark or you can say equal to them. On the other hand, Indian novelists wrote to develop a modern literature of the country that could produce a sense of national belonging and cultural equality with their colonial masters. So in order to do this, the novels were such that, that everyone was having a sense of equality. The second is to protect values of Indian uh, tradition and culture. So many novelists like that of Srinivas Das, it expressed the fear and anger about the intermining of Indian and Western culture. The world of Colonial modernity seems to be both frightening and irresistible to the characters. So the novel tries to teach the reader the right way to live and expects all sensible men to be worldly wise and practical, to remain rooted in the values of their own tradition and culture and to live with dignity and honor. When it comes to women novelists, women did not remain mere readers at that time, right? What is being written by men? So they also started writing the novels. In some languages, the early creation of women were poems, essays and autobiographical pieces or content. In the early decades of 20th century, women in southern India also began writing novels and short stories. A reason for the popularity of novels among women was that it allowed for a new conception or dharana of womenhood. Stories of love, which was a staple theme for many novels, it showed women who could choose or refuse their partners and relationship. That is, it showed women who could, it means he, they can control their lives. Some women authors also wrote about women who changed the world of both men and women. The novels for lower caste and peasants from the 1920s in Bengal to a kind of novel novel image that depicted the lives of peasants and low caste. As we said, the Burmans, Titash Ekti 
Nadir Nam. This is an epic about the Mallas, a community of fisher folk who live off fishing in the river Titash. The novel is about three generations of the Mallas, about their recurring tragedies and the story of Ananta, a child born of parents who are tragically separated after their wedding night. Ananta leaves the community to get education or educated in the society, uh, in the city, sorry. So the novel describes the community life of Mallas in great detail. Their holy, Kali Puja festivals, boat races, uh, the songs, that is Bathyali songs, the relationship of friendships, animosity with the peasants, and the oppression of the upper caste. And the novel and the nation making? Many novelists wrote about Marathas and the Rajputs. So these novels produced a sense of pan-India belonging. The imagined nation of the novel was so powerful that it could inspire actual political movements. So Bankim Chandra Chotopadhyay's Anandmat is a novel about a secret Hindu militia that fight Muslim to establish a Hindu kingdom. So it was a novel that inspired many, many freedom fighters. We are taking the MCQs or multiple choice questions of novel society and history. Which Hindi novel by Premchand tells the story of Indian peasantry through the characters of Hori and his wife Dhania? The answer is Godan, the epic from Premchand. Who wrote Sultana's dream? The answer is Rukaya Hussain. Which of the following books was written with adolescent girls in mind? The answer is Ramona. Which of the following novels was not written by Charles Dickens? Charles Dickens wrote Hard Times and Oliver Twist. And he also wrote Pickwick Papers. So the answer would be Germinal. Who is the pioneer of modern Hindi literature? The answer is Bharatendu Harishchand. But he was not the first one uh, who was given credit, credit of uh, novels. He was Shinivas Das. So the answer here is 550. Which of the following novels deals with caste operation or caste operation? So the operation of caste was shown or depicted in Saraswati Vijayam. Konjabu. Konjabu written it. Which was the first uh, historical novel written in Bengali? The answer is Anguria Binimoy. This was the historical event. Please understand. The novel written in the form of series of letter is called what? The answer is epistolary novel in the form of letters. A format of novel in which the story is published in installment. That is, it comes, then the second part comes, the third part comes, just like the daily soaps we see. The answer here is serialized novel. Serialized novel. Which of the following novels depicts the changes in rural society in England? The answer is Mayor of Casterbridge. Novels of which of the following authors gives us a glimpse of women of 19th century rural society in Britain? The answer is Jane Austen. Which of the following novels displays a colonial attitude? The answer is Robinson Crusoe. Defoy written it. Defoy. Robert Defoy. Which of the following is an example of early prose written in India in 7th century? And it was written in Sanskrit, right? So the answer here is Kadambari. Which of the following best explain the term Dastan? The answer here is tradition of prose tales of adventure and heroism in Persian and Urdu. The novel that generally reflected the inner and outer world of the newly emerging middle class? The answer is Pariksha Guru. The novel that, dealed or that dealt mainly with the poor condition of women in society? The answer is Seva Sadan. The first proper modern novel was written by? The answer is Srinivas Das. So he is accredited 
as the first novel of India, novelist of India, you can say. In Bengal, what was meant by Kabir Larai? Kabir Larai, that is, the answer is the contest of poets, Kabir Larai. Or, you know, it has come from Kabir. Kabir, he was a famous poet uh, in India. And then, Larai means fight, contest. The term Gissa Goi refers to what? The Kissa Goi means traditional art of storytelling. Kissa means story. Goi means how to present it. The form of writing used to criticize the society in a clever and witty manner. And this is known as satire. 20 is satire. Which of the following emphasize the need to reform of women related problems? The answer is Padmara. Which of the following novels describe the community life of the fisher folks in detail? And the answer is Titash Ekti Nadir Nam. Why is the writing of Vaikyo Muhammad Bashir significant? The answer is his novel gives details of everyday life of Muslims, Muslim households, domestic or family life of Muslims. Why was the writing of Ruqayya Hussain important? The answer is, she focused on the need to reform of the women's condition in the society. Who among the following wrote Jungle Book? The answer is Rudyard Kipling. Which of the following is an epistolary, epistolary novels? The answer is Pamela. Pamela was written by, the answer is, Samuel Richardson. Which of the following novels reflected the effects of industrialization? And the answer is, Hard Times. It was written by Charles Dickens. Who is the author of Germinal? The answer is, Emil Zola. Mary Anna Ann Evans. Is the real name of each of the following authors? The answer is George Eliot. George Eliot, Mary Ann Evans. The first Malayalam novel was its Indulekha. Indulekha. Which one of the following was the first novel written by Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay? The answer is Durgesh Nandini. The earliest novel written in Marathi is Yamuna Prayatnam. Yamuna Prayatnam or Yamuna Prayatnam. 